Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I set up my lighting scene in Maya and how to get from this to this. If you're interested, please keep on watching. Before we continue, I would like to thank today's sponsor wingfox.com. Wingfox is an educational website that contains tons of useful information about 3D modeling and more. They had a lot of different types of courses for any skill level, so I'm sure you'll be able to find something that suits you. These two are my personal favorites. I would suggest you to start with the first one, but if you're confident in your skills and want to advance them, then go for the second one. You can get 50% off at the checkout using my affiliate link and a coupon code in the description down below. And let's get down to the video. What we want to start is go to Arnold Lighting and we go to Skydome. We will have to adjust this, but me, this is not that. We are going to render this. And you can see I've got the com camera set up so far. And this is what we get. Obviously, this is not what we would want to see. Um, it's very like bright and everything, but it's a it's a good start. Um, I like to use Skydome just to kind of like eliminate globally the whole image, just a tiny little bit. So we're gonna go to point one. Um, this is what we are getting. It's just, it doesn't matter if we have it like pixelated, you know, we're just looking at the light. And now what I want to do is hook up the color. This is a really nice free HDR light to use. And I'm not sure if it's going to reset. No, intensity is still the same. But basically what you can do, you can see that it gives a very big difference already, even though we just hooked up um, like a color to our sky dome. And uh, you could also, you could tweak some nodes in here, or you could simply just rotate and Whoop. You can see that it affects the lighting and the image. Okay, let's leave it at this for now because it just gives, you know, this nice illumination everywhere. Maybe it's actually a bit too bright, but you know, we can come back to it later. not bad and now what I want to do is to add a light we're going to create area light and let's just move this right here but if you are going to render it now you're not going to see any changes because it doesn't respond to our render yet. We need to disable normalize and now we will be able to see some change. You can see that like just a 10 doesn't do that much. Um, especially um, a good trick would be to zoom out of your image and just see how it looks from a distance. And also you can see that everything is kind of like bright at the moment, which you don't really want to because you want your viewers to be able to focus on one point, which is usually the face, if it's portrait, obviously. <laughs> um, anywho, let's just click this and let's play around with this thing. <laughs> here it is here um, light shape and we are going to change spread so 
you can see that lower number for spread basically works as a spotlight and it affects smaller area which could be good if you want to focus your attention but also as you can see it looks way more more harsh and because of this like you know lower area of intensity it also gonna look much brighter so maybe i want to have this kind of area of intensity i mean coverage and maybe we're going to tweak this a little bit you can also tweak your lights after you set up all the materials i like to go back and forth you know um i would hook up general colors to just see how it reacts how the light reacts to the mesh and stuff and then i'll also adjust my materials because you know sometimes in a bad lighting materials can look really sketchy i don't know not 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 good not what you want to see so it's kind of this you know back and forth kind of thing so we're going to make the intensity a bit smaller now and this is what we're getting so far so you can see now that it has more volume and it feels more focused on the face because we pointed it on the face and also we changed the spread let's add another light you can simply duplicate it and move reset the spread to one and yeah let's have it somewhere here at the moment also another really important thing work with your lights um separately because if you just do it now you don't like what the hell is happening and also it's like quite low so you don't really see that much one of the greatest advices that i ever got from one of my teachers back in the nerds is that um you should make your light too much when it's like obvious and then adjust it to be a little like less and less because it's much harder when you have kind of a nice lighting and then you add a little bit and a little bit and then you're just like oh am i doing this too much is this enough and you know um so we want to hide the light number one and see what this slide is doing and at the moment it's not doing anything so we're gonna crank it up right, get up to let's say 30 and you can see some lighting happening in there some happening in here and um, as I said I just want like a nice little bit of rim light maybe like this will do actually um let's turn this back on and see how it looks together because sometimes um especially when you have kind of two main lights or something you know going on from a similar direction or you've got two strong lights in the front it can just be too much obviously so yeah let's see can you see the difference yeah you can see that now it has like a very nice luminance to it we could just probably add a little one from here to um i'm gonna show you we'll just make it like whoop um let's just make it um from here and we make it bigger so the light and shadows and everything will be just really soft we're changing the spread back 
so yeah, let's just hide these guys and see what's going on. Um, this might not be too bad. Just like a little bit. Let's see once we add all of them now. If it's gonna make a difference. Sometimes I would add a light and then render it out and delete it. Just because it's not gonna look good, you know? You should really not be afraid to experiment and yeah, just trust your artistic vision. Hmm, okay. Yeah, as you can see now, it looks more flat and soft. So yeah, here is my final setup. Sky Dome and four supporting lights. I also got just a simple background, just did this oval thingy in Photoshop and hooked it in here. You could also use just like node based and you know, just take two colors, whatever you prefer. And also this base is purely to catch the light and bounce it around the mesh and everything, you know? So now I'm gonna show you how everything looks. This is the final lighting setup. And let me show you what just the background light does. See, it basically does nothing to the mesh itself but it changes backlight. Yeah. And then key light. Soft light. Room light. Together. This is a very simple setup that allows me to make just cute little portrait renders, you know? Thank you for watching and if you liked this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for new 3D content and I'll see you in my next video.